Set and Hug created everything that's between, um, you would say, Nud, Jeb, or, and, and their the doctrine is really Lilith and Abzu. All these is really forces, forces that now are going to make and create the sun and everything, the light that we see or we call Ra. Now, the thing to it is that everything was unified, a process of birth, death, birth, breath, regrowth. Everything is evolving through quantity, a whole bunch of it, and then the quality of it evolved. And that's the what we was living in one unified field. That's called the ether. And then what wound up happening, the light itself started coming out the, the darkness. And it started separating itself and isolating itself because it started realizing it was a separate entity from everything else. It's, it's all self. So when it started to do that, it started dropping down as it had more density to it. As it more starts seeing itself and reflecting upon itself, it imploded into itself and keep on getting more heavy and heavier, leaving the source, the abyss, the darkness. And once it did that now, it started having consciousness. And being conscious of itself, it started creating a bubble and a world for its own self. This is what's called the Sephiroth. That's what you see as the tree of life. With it, it created its ten attributes. Those ten attributes became ten other deities such as Jehovah, Yahweh, Adonai. All of them equals the system of forces that will make up a, home, a human being. Now, in his separation, he seen after a while that he separated from the source and realized what he did. Instead of him trying to get back with the source, it, it wound up building its own world and separated itself, like ignored it. So now the source had to defend itself. So the source knew that if it didn't get back the souls that every that was a part of there, something was going to happen. This what was going to happen is it's still inevitable to happen. I'll tell you about it in a few. But what wound up happening now is the 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 um the the true force, the oneness started creating everything it created as an opposing force to stop it, to refix it back, to make it unified again. Because it's individualizing itself. And while it individualizes itself, it also separates from itself from again. And it keeps separating itself. And it keeps separating itself. Till eventually it's going to put itself in its own abyss of, of, of um, calcification in the third plane, which is a, a solidness, you know what I'm saying? That's going to go to two dimensions, then one dimension is going to implode on itself like a piece of ceramic clay smashed to pieces, and it just goes back in this universe to be recycled. That's what everybody's trying to, that's what the dark forces is trying to stop, or what we call chaos, or, or the draconian, or really God. Yeah, that's what's so funny about this. You didn't expect God and all this. You see, everything ties in. Because you got to remember, this is Egyptian scriptures handpicked by the Nicene um, Council and approved by Constantine. And y'all got y'all canon. It's not the Bible or anything. It's just a thing called the canon. Once you kill off everybody and take away the Gnostic journals, all the Mithra journals and the Dionysus journals, you only have Christian journals. So you're born into a Christian, that's all you believe. Then they put the Muslim one over there. You're born over there, you believe Muslim. As a matter of fact, they said, let me do one with the Chinese. So they make a Buddha one. All of these three people is immaculately conceived, done these miracles and all this shit. Bullshit. Okay, now what's going on is like I tell you, they're concealing everything so that they could stay in control of everything. Oh.